Outside Baytown in Southeast Texas, game wardens Dockery and Pope attempt to capture a nuisance gator. All right, this is about to get real. It's pure muscle. It has a lot of power, a lot of strength. At any minute, it can turn, and that's why you gotta have a good hold on it. If you make one wrong move, that can be a bad day. You, know, you lose a limb, lose a hand, lose a finger. The game wardens cover the gator's eyes to keep it calm while they secure its legs and jaws. Whenever you're ready. Once you're locked on top of that animal and you've got those jaws in your hand, you want to get your job done quick. One minute, girl. Yeah. She can open her mouth yep. a little bit. Yeah, and I got her tail right here. Reason we tape her legs up so they don't jump out of the truck when we're relocating. There we go. Let's go find her a new home. Back in Livingston, game wardens have a lasso around the giant gator's neck. 14-foot gator isn't coming quietly. Gotcha. Woo! Chris, if you hold this, I'm going to go get the other lariat, and I'm going to stretch him out. The alligator this large are terribly, terribly strong. And uh, their strength, of course, is in, in, in the shutting their mouth, the clamping. Uh, but they can also be very fierce with that tail. Uh, anything that weighs anywhere from 8 to 1,200 pounds can be dangerous. There you go, roll. Keep rolling, big boy. We're gonna let him roll with ourselves out, man. We can just hook him to his boat and drag him. That's a bull. I get right there, it's about as bull as you get, huh? <laughs> I mean. With the gator tired out, Game Warden Hall and the team bind the animal's mouth and legs so they can float him safely downstream. You good? That worked out like a charm there. We ain't through yet. <laughs> Don't jinx me. This alligator is so big, if I tried to lift the alligator from his head and lifted him up with, say, a crane or something like that, I, I could risk damaging his, his neck, his vertebra, I could risk choking him to death. So I, I called a, a local wrecker service and actually drive my boat up on to the rollback wrecker with the alligator tied to the side of it. It's going to coast to a stop, guys. OK, here we go. Go ahead and give me some more tension on the winch, please. Good thing he's tired. Yeah. He ain't going nowhere. This is a unique situation where I have an alligator that could be up to 70 years old. He's a precious natural resource. You know, there's not another 14-foot alligator around the corner that's going to take his place. He'll get comfortable in a minute. Thank y'all so much for your help. Game Warden Hall heads to the Trinity River National Wildlife Refuge to release the gator. In southeast Texas, home to the largest gator population in the state, Game Warden Mike Boone attempts to capture a nuisance alligator. I got him. Grab hold of that tail or anything you can grab. Right Get him. He's gonna roll on you, Mike. I got him. I felt like I could comfortably grab the gator by the jaws. Well, when you do that, they tend to roll. <laughs> if they roll on you, you let them go. You let them tire out a little bit more, and then you attempt it again. Oh, 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 oh. Watch out, Mike. Watch out. The tail on an alligator can produce a lot of force against you. Come on. He's rolling. Got him? Stay on. I got him. Let's go ahead, man. 
He done. Outstanding. <laughs> We're getting more and more alligators coming into different places that I've never seen them before. They're in their natural habitat. Just leave them be. Don't feed them. There's nothing to be scared of if they're scared of you. Let's do it. The gator has become too accustomed to humans, so it will be relocated to a 15-acre reptile preserve. All right. You going to open him? Yep, let him open. Good to go. Played veterinarian and alligator removal today. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Holler if you need something. Where you got her at? Right here. All right, hang on. Hey, let's set up a block first. Wait. Let me block. With all the noise we were making, she knew we were there. And she was, she become very aggressive, very protective of her young. Yep. And they try to push her to you. Yeah. Mike, you got the better angle. Put it on there, Mike. She All got right, him. Go, she go. got him. There you go. She got there him. Go. I don't know how she got by us. She's under there. She's under there the whole Maybe time. Maybe a hole. All right, good job. Woo! You want to back take, you want to take the leg? Yeah. While we were on scene, the superintendent advised us that some of the maintenance crews had located another separate alligator in a drain. When's the last time y'all seen him? Yesterday. Okay. While the first gator and her hatchlings are loaded up for relocation, Boone looks for the second one. Which drain did they see him in? Yeah. That one. That's, that's the one. end. That's, that's, there's a pipe right here, and that's the end. We got about a 100-foot piece of pipe that he could possibly be in, but the pipe's only about 36 inches in diameter. We're going to try to put one of the guys on one side and flush him out on this side, if we if we know for sure he's in here. I'm going to get down there with a flashlight and shine and see what I can see. Hey, Gary? Yeah, I hear you. Shine down there towards me. I don't see him on this side. OK, move your light, move your light. I think I just seen an alligator. Oh, What's it back there? Oh, he's coming to take a bite of you, mate. Yeah. Is he all right? Alligators typically submerge when they see humans or boats. That's very weird. That's crazy how close we can get to him. There's something wrong with his eyes, mate. He's blind in one eye. It looks like he's missing an eye. I mean, we can leave him out in the wild, but... What if you get some other knuckleheads coming out That's here? That's what my thing is. You get some knuckleheads seeing him swimming around. I'm like, oh, let's grab him. Let's take him. He's hurt. Show us that South African mojo, man. Never done this before, but let's see how it works out, huh? Get on there. Hey, just put your foot on his mouth real quick. Gators have the strongest bite force of any predator. His mouth's tied up, but even with the force that he turns his head around, I mean, he can still hurt someone pretty bad. Yeah, something happened over here. I don't know what that is. And his eye. Jack, see right here. I wonder if it was in a fight with another gator, perhaps. He's got quite a bit of nicks all over his body, so I, I don't know if he got attacked by something or if something hit him. He's definitely out of sorts, you know? Gators can live up to 50 years in the wild. 
The wardens are hoping that in a less populated area, this one may get that chance. We're going to relocate him to a place that's a lot quieter, less boat traffic, a very small human population. It's a reserve. Hopefully, he'll be able to recuperate nicely and have a better chance of surviving out that way.